Hey folks, welcome back to the Cardboard Cave. We're here to do a Lego review for you. This is the new, well, it's only been out maybe a few weeks, Lego Speed Champion set. It is an update on the Ferrari F40. The Ferrari F40 was an early Speed Champion set, which I have right here. This is back when they were only six wide, uh, way fewer pieces. I think they were 15 bucks, so they're cheaper. $26.99 is the current price, which keeps going up by a couple bucks. $26.99 is the current price. Uh, this was the original Speed Champions F40, which is way smaller, like really a totally different scale. And we also have some other Lego Ferrari Speed Champions we're going to compare. But, uh, ages 9 and up, set 76934, 318 pieces, retails for $26.99 in the U.S., Side view here. Of course, it is official Ferrari licensed. They do a good job giving you a view from all sides. And here's the real Ferrari F40. All right, so here we are. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So. The main thing about the Ferrari F40, to not make this video more complex than it needs to be, is it's just one of the dang coolest looking cars of all time. Um, and so, does it look like a Ferrari F40? And my quick answer is, seeing this, yes, it's a Ferrari F40. Is it perfect? No, we'll get into that. But is it a Ferrari F40? Yes, that's my answer. Um, I think that's what's most important. So... Now, to go into a little more detail, it was a very fun build, very straightforward. Um, I've done a lot of these Speed Champion sets now. I don't know, maybe 15, 16, 17, something like that. And so, I guess there were not any like, like, whoa, I can't believe they did that this way. Like, huge surprises in it. But, but it was fun, and it was quick. For 318 pieces, I just kept going through it. Um, just really smooth build. I mean, Lego, you can pretty much count on that. But this one was just a very smooth build. I don't know how else to put it. A lot of stickers, but not as bad as some of the Speed Champion sets. Um, here's a sticker sheet, though. It's still plenty. <laughs> if you've never done a Speed Champion set, that might be something surprising to you, just how many stickers there actually are. Um, but let's see if we can get a little closer view here. Certainly enough stickers. Um, one thing I will say, like with all these Speed Champion sets, take your time with the stickers. The Lego instructions are always going to show you just to put the sticker right in the middle of the piece. But I would look at the box, look at the finished product, and do what makes sense. For example, these I think represent the headlights or is it headlight covers? Let's look at the real car. Now that... Uh, Oh yeah, they represent the closed headlights. So, what made sense to me is to move this down as far as possible and move this one up as far as possible. So they butt together as much as possible. And it's not perfect. I, I've never gotten a single sticker perfect. I'm not particularly good at it. But that's what I would recommend is moving them to get them as close together as possible. And see, like, same thing here. This is a black printed line here, but this is a sticker. And so, you know, make sure you line it up with that as much as possible. Uh, tweezers are your friend, especially for the smaller, the smaller stickers. Um, you know, it just makes the final product look better. And none of mine are perfect. I have had done some. That was a good sentence. I have done some before. <laughs> That were so imperfect that it really bothered me um, to the point that I even ordered an extra set of stickers. Um, none of these are that bad. They're not perfect, but quite a few stickers, but not the worst ever. There are some printed pieces as well. Uh, print here. Um, some printed black lines there, like a printed black line there. Of course, the whole canopy, the whole roof is printed. That is all print. 
this is a print, one on each side. Uh, let's see, print here, Ferrari logo. These tail lights are printed with a little silver, which is a cool look. Those are cool printed pieces. Let's see. And then there's a little Ferrari logo, I guess, well, that one. And then I guess it's inside somewhere, I thought. Maybe not inside. Oh, well, the minifigure. No, good job, Trevor. Excellent work. The minifigure. <laughs> uh, little spoons for the side mirrors. I thought that was kind of fun. Little Ferrari spoons. I mean, they're really just red spoons. But minifigure. Uh, like in a Ferrari branded sweater. I think it's kind of cool that they didn't just pick the red jacket you would expect. This is like a regular person. A regular person with some money. <laughs> but a regular person nonetheless. Uh, who has like a Ferrari branded merchandise, a sweater. So that's kind of cool. And of course, you can make this any figure you want and use that torso piece on any figure. But, all right, back to the car. I will just say straight up, I think that's a really good angle. The front, I would rate as very, very good. The, like the top view, I would rate as very, very good, especially, especially with me bumping the camera, no, especially with this. And this was fun how this was built. This was a fun part of the build and it just looks really good the way they had that done. I think the sides will say for last. I think the back is perfection. I think the, the top view is great. The front view is very good to great. The back is perfection, or as close to it in this scale as I would expect. I love this. I love this. This may not be identical, but I like it, you know, to the real thing, but I like it a lot. Um, I just love the back view of it. I think it's just absolutely wonderful. The side view is very good. In fact, I would say up to here, excellent. Everybody who's reviewed this thing has mentioned it. I don't want to dwell on it too much, but they simply picked the wrong uh, side window. They could have used the exact same piece and just made this come down further. They would have had to figure something else out with this print, but it's too squinty. Like it needs to be more bulbous. Um, the side window just needs to be more open. It's too narrow like it's i don't know like a squinting at you or something that like this angle that really hurts it but you start turning it down and more of a natural viewing angle and it loses some of that a little bit um but the direct on side view is hurt wow you can see straight through there that's i didn't notice that before but the direct on side view is hurt by that that should have been just printed differently, I think, would have helped massively. It doesn't ruin the whole car for me, but it was an important thing to get right, and they did not get it right. It does change the look of the car. The side view is a very important view. But I'm not going to say any more about it except to show you some other options because I don't think it ruins the look of the car, and this is still a Ferrari F40. And by gum, it looks like a Ferrari F40 to me. And I simply love the look of the Ferrari F40. Like, period. And for $27, 318 pieces, you know, I wish Speed Champions were still 20 bucks, but that's probably not, you know, reasonable compared to other Lego sets. Okay, <laughs> these spoon side view windows, you gotta watch where you're grabbing. They like to pop off when you touch them. I think compared to other Speed Champion sets, the value is there. I think it would be nice if they were $3 cheaper just as a whole wave, as a whole theme. But I still maintain, although I can no longer say they're the best $20 set Lego makes, I still think they're some of the best under $30 sets that Lego makes for the build experience, for the finished product, for the clever just way it's all put together. I mean, there's nothing super complex. It's ages nine and up set, but it is a clever well done build and i think you know i've heard talk that the the main sort of the main guy over the speed champions 
has stepped down to lead other projects. Um, and I say that's, you know, good for those other projects because apparently he's he's been doing a great job. Don't even know his name. But I think it's nonsense to say, oh, you can already tell he stepped down because of the flaws. No, this is great. <laughs> this is great. It's super solid. The build was great. It's looks great. I'll gladly just play it with my other Ferraris and my other LEGO Speed Champions. It simply has one flaw, and that is this should have been printed differently. Um, not sure why they didn't do it, but it's not a deal breaker at all. So let's compare. First of all, to get this out of the way, I've seen some people, I think this is the one they recommended. Uh, this is a Ferrari F8 Tributo Speed Champions set that's still available. Um, I think it's $25 because it's before they went up to $27. Um, there's your set number, 76895. Uh, still available. But this windscreen is more in line with what they should have picked. Now, again, this piece is not going to line up perfectly. But you can see the main difference is just more open on the side. That's the main difference. So you put that on there. And I think for a lot of people, and I think I agree, that is a little closer to the look we're looking for. Now again, it's not perfect because this print back here no longer feels right. But I think, heck, don't even make a new windscreen because these are real similar. Make sure, you know, the color's right, which the color's about the same, it's a little different. Get the coloring right and just use this windscreen and, and just do that. And then this, you're going to have to, to redo that. You know, that might be why they did it. I don't know. Because they needed something a little skinnier to line up with the print for the back piece. I don't know. But I think do something different with this print and then use this windscreen. And I think more people would have been happy with that. Because even without it lining up, that feels more right to me. If you find a way to widen this print, like I said, that feels more right. I'm sure you can order this piece probably from Lego. If not, then BrickLink. Um, you know, it might cost you a few bucks, but less than buying. I wouldn't want you to buy a duplicate of this set. Because this set is 100% worth buying on its own. Let's see. I mean, heck. Honestly, <laughs> this set doesn't look bad with that. I'm not saying it's an improvement. But it doesn't look bad with that. So you could just flat out swap them. Buy both sets and swap them. But I do recommend buying this set. But um, I wouldn't buy two just for the extra windscreen. I would find a way to get the windscreen if you think that's an improvement. But there's the original one that comes with it. I don't hate it. You know, looking at it here, I don't hate it. Um, anyways, that's all I'll say about that. So let's just look. This is a currently available F8 uh, Tributo Speed Champion set. We're going to zoom out a little bit here now. Oh, here's the extra pieces. Four extra rims here. An extra gear shift, which is actually a microphone. That's fun. Two wrenches for changing the hubcaps. Um, the only printed pieces that were left over were these little tail light pieces. That's it as far as printed pieces. So nothing super interesting left over, except maybe the hubcaps. Again, that's the sticker sheet. I already showed you the minifigure. I'll show you the interior a little better. Then we'll show you some of the other Ferraris that they have done. Let's see here. That's a sticker. I do like the gear shift, steering wheel, the seats. It works, it'll hold two figures. Um, no printing in there. It would've been cool to have like some Ferrari prints on the seats. But I don't know for sure if the original car had that or not. I imagine it did. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking interior. So anyways. Here's our new version of Ferrari F40. And this is the first Ferrari F40 they've done a Speed Champion since this older one. And you can see there's just a huge difference. And the scale is totally different. I mean, I'm sorry, but... I love this one. I just thought it was so cool. But there's no comparison. I mean, my goodness. Here we are niggling, complaining about this little 
windscreen here. This one didn't even have a windscreen. <laughs> it was just a classic Lego windshield that was way too narrow. And then an uh, empty hole. I mean, it was great for what it was. It was great for the time. Um, I love it. And it was like 15 bucks. It was great. But, come on. I mean, there's no comparison. I mean, the interior, I believe, was just a steering wheel. It only held one person. I mean, we really... I mean, we can complain if we want to, because maybe that's what gets Lego to do better, you know, in certain areas. But, on the other hand, I don't know if we really have any room to complain. This is so much better than this. I mean, from every angle, it's so much better. Like, it's silly to even compare. It costs... Not twice as much, but 27. I think this was 15 originally. So it cost almost twice as much. It probably is twice as many pieces, honestly. I bet this was close to 150 if I had to guess. And it simply looks better from every single angle. I mean, the back probably especially. I mean, come on. Although they did a fine job with that one. I mean, there really is no comparison though. And then of course we have this, which is not an F8, or not an F4, excuse me, not an F40. This is the one I was just showing you, the F8. It's a great one. And it is still available. And it's 20 or 25. It might be 25 because it is not a super old one. And it's just a wonderful Speed Champions vehicle. And then we got this one. Mm, maybe this one is a little older because I think this is the newer one. It's another fantastic one. And it's... It might be $26.99 or it might be $24.99. It just depends. I can't remember when it came out, but it is still available. A much more modern. Um, it's a wonderful Speed Champion set. This is great. Um, I love the stripe. However, I do have more affinity for the design of the F40, the car itself. I just love the F40. And then here is a 1970 Ferrari, which is still available. And I would get this one soon if you're interested because it has been around for quite a while and I love it. I mean, in some ways it's not like as solid and chunky as like this one, but it's only 20 bucks. This is still when they sold them for only 20 bucks. So it's still available at that price. And I think it's for 20 bucks, you gotta get it. There's also a Lamborghini Countach, a white Lamborghini Countach that is from when they were just charging $20. It's still available. I think it came out at the same wave as this one. You got to get that one for 20 bucks, unless you just hate the Countach. I think it's one of the best looking cars ever made, like the F40. So yeah, this one's 20 bucks, still available. Get it before it's gone. It'll be gone soon. So you got the 1970 model. As far as the order they came out, I can't remember for sure, but I think it was this. And then I don't remember which one of these came out next. I think maybe it was this one, and then this one, and then this one. Good looking line up there. But I recommend all of them. And except for this one, the crazy thing is they're all still available. You still have four of the eight wide size, in other words, the same scale of Speed Champion sets that you can buy right now. Um,. So that's pretty cool if you're a Ferrari fan. And compared to other Ferrari merchandise, they're practically a bargain. They range from 20 up to $26.99. And I think they all look great, including the new F40. So I do recommend it. Um, and this has been the Cardboard Cave. Please like this video if you liked it at all. Please leave a comment about any of these. Do you have any of these? What's your favorite? Are you... As happy with this as I am, or are you one that is so bummed out by this looking a little bit off that it just ruins it for you? You know, I get it either way. Four twenty six ninety nine, ages nine and up, displayable toy. I'm more than happy with it. I'm so glad to have another F forty, and that back end is just so beautiful. Um, I think we'll end with this view of the back end. Consider subscribing to the channel if you don't mind. Um, this has been Trevor signing out for the Cardboard Cave.